kids, artist Pirate Chris with daughters Josie and Sophie aboard the SS Integrity. We hope you had a summer full of wonderful memories and activities and you were able to relax and recharge for the school year. Most importantly, I hope you were able to be creative. My daughters Josie and Sophie are going to help me show you how to relax, recharge, and create through art. But first I have a question. Have you seen those new coloring books? The ones that are very detailed, that look like they might be for moms and dads? Well, you're right. The coloring books now aren't just for children, but they are for parents too. We're going to show you how to create your own coloring page to be used as a gift for your friends or an adult in your life. In the last five years, the benefits associated with coloring and coloring books for both children and adults have been proven. So whether this gift be for a two-year-old or a 92-year-old, it could be perfect. Are you ready to create your own flower garden? Join Josie and Sophie and me using objects that we have found lying around the house. And here we go. All right, Josie and Sophie, we are going to find things around the house to use to trace to create our own flower garden. To start off, I want to draw a flower. Are there any things laying around that you think we could trace to use for a flower garden? Uh, jelly a jelly jar lid from Grandma's pantry. I think this is a great idea. It's a round circle. And how about right here, Sophie? To start our flower. So again, using my lid as a stencil, I am gonna carefully draw the inner circle of this flower lid. Now for you at home, if you have something hollow like that, you might want to mark the top, the bottom, and the sides just like I am. And let me show you why. I can use this same lid again to create the petals. I'm going to find my two marks and hold it in place and carefully begin drawing my petals. I like to trace objects because then my lines are perfect. You can also free draw, but your lines may not be as smooth as they are when you use something to trace. Looking pretty good. Josie, what should we draw next? Um, how about the middle? Sure. <laughs> okay, what did you find around the house? I found this tape. Ah, a roll of tape. Let's see if it fits. It does. I think it fits perfectly. I'm going to trace the outside of this roll of tape to create the inner portion of my flower. Looking pretty good. I think next we should maybe draw the vine or the stem. Sophie. Anything that you have that we could use? How about this ruler? Oh, I think a ruler is a great idea. A ruler has perfect straight edges on it. So let's draw this stem somewhere in the middle. And I'm going to make his other side maybe right here. Pretty good start to our flower garden. Josie, what do you think we should draw next? Um, I think we should draw the line with the toothbrush. Now, where did you get this toothbrush, Josie? Um, I got it from, um, from the bathroom. Oh, from the bathroom. I hope it's not my toothbrush. <laughs> Me. <laughs> All right, so drawing a vine, I am going to carefully trace Josie's toothbrush or my toothbrush along the side here. Tracing objects like this can be hard and challenging, but if we take our time, it might look just right. I think I'll have the vine maybe go in the opposite direction. Maybe one more. All 
All right, we're coming along. Sophie, what do you think we should draw next? A butterfly. A butterfly. Ooh, a butterfly sounds hard. What did you find laying around the house to use to draw our butterfly? A mirror for the rings, the wings. Hmm, well this does look kind of like a wing. I bet if we trace this part right here to our top wing, bottom wing, and other side, do you think we can make it work? Let's give it a shot. Maybe on this side. Earlier I said I like to trace objects to make the lines perfectly smooth, but sometimes we do have to freehand draw certain details. Like for instance, I might draw some antennas for this butterfly. and maybe a body for it as well. It looks a little bit closer to a butterfly. Josie, what do you think we should draw next? Um, how about some details in the flower petals? Some details in the flower petals. And what did you find here? I, I was in your toolbox and found your <laughs> You were in my toolbox and found a wrench. Well, I love the creativity here. And I bet you if we use this maybe for the inside portion of these flower petals, it might look pretty neat. I love this idea, Josie. Even everyday objects like tools can be used to draw flowers if you're an artist. Mm -hmm. Sophie, what do you think we should draw next? Um, well, so you have found this neat circular object to draw for the inside portion of the butterfly wings. I like how it has this little lip piece right here. Even if you don't have a circle like this, anything that could be traced to fit inside might look really neat inside a butterfly wing. There's one. I'm gonna try to keep my lip pointed to the top when I draw the other side. Butterfly wings have the same pattern on every wing a lot of the times. I think this flower needs some leaves for its stem. Josie, what have you found? How about my keychain? Ooh, a keychain. Not only is it green, but it has a perfect leaf shape. Let's draw one right here. Very good. What do you say we spend some more time working on this on our own and adding further details to see what we come up with next? We're back here with our finished piece of artwork. We had Josie and Sophie come up with this masterpiece using those objects earlier that we traced that we found around the house. We used this domino to create this fence in the background. They added another flower and some other details that we didn't include earlier. So there you have it, folks. We encourage you to be brave, to find those things around your house, use them to help you create your own masterpieces. And before we go, we want to bring your attention to a few other books that may help you along your way. Here's Pirate Chris saying, see you next time. How to Zen Doodle by Carolyn Scrace. Do Magazine, Color, Tangle, Craft, Doodle. Totally Tangled by Sandy Steen, Bartholomew. Creative Doodling and Beyond, inspiring exercises, prompts, and projects for turning simple doodles into beautiful works of art. Time to tangle with colors. Coloring ideas and techniques inspired by Zen Tangle.